This is a follow-up to my video, Hello, I'm a Scientist, Part 2. In that video, I talked about a book that I had found the title of online in a bunch of creationist arguments about carbon dating, where they claimed that a, the living bark of a tree had been found to be 10,000 years old. And the claim was that it was from this book, which I've managed to finally acquire. So I'm just going to take a look through. So it's The Physiology of Forest Trees. This is a symposium held in the Harvard Forest, April 1957, edited by Kenneth Thiemann, and that is the editor that was cited on those creationist websites. As you can see, copyright 1958. And here is the participant in question, Bruno Uber, professor of botany, University of Munich, Munich, Germany. So this is not the... Swiss astrologer that I thought it might be. And here we have recording gases exchange under field conditions, Bruno Hubert, page 187. And if we flip over there, 187. Recording gases exchange under field conditions. And if you flip to page 194, this is the actual part in question. Hubert talks about uh, that the wood of trees growing near airports appeared to be more than 10,000 years old because it contains CO2 not from open air, but from airplanes. Hubert never actually says we dated trees and were, they were found to be over 10,000 years old, therefore carbon dating is wrong. He says that when you have air coming from airplanes, which contains CO2 that throws off your carbon dating methods, you have to be aware of that so that you can compensate for it or use a different method. So this is representative of the typical creationist argument. They'll pick out a line in a book, and I don't know who originally picked this line out of this book, but it has been misquoted, quote mined, all over the internet, and clearly nobody has read this book because I couldn't find it online. It was hard to find in real life, but here it is. Here's the evidence right before your eyes that it does not say what they say it says, it does not say what they think it says, and uh, it actually refutes their arguments if you read what's actually written on the page.